Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I felt like I've been doing this long enough for me to finally have an introductory trailer for my channel. Now, what is my channel about? I primarily talk about Joshi Wrestling, which is Japanese women's pro wrestling. Now, while I do want to eventually cover more than just one promotion, right now I can only regularly cover one called Stardom. Now, Stardom is one of the best women's wrestling promotions on the planet. And after discovering it, I got obsessed with it. Now I spend most of my free time just making videos about it. The type of videos you will find on this channel include things like a history video covering a certain topic of the promotion, be it a certain faction, a certain wrestler, or a belt. Opinion pieces where I just give my own mind and opinion on thoughts that I have about certain subjects. For example, one of my videos that people seem to like was why Azumi needed Starlight Kid. Purely opinion based, there are not really any facts towards it, just my own feelings. Reviews of certain shows. Now while I do not plan on reviewing every single show that comes out for stardom, when I am taking too long on making another video, I do plan on doing short reviews to kind of give you guys things while you're waiting. Certain big shows, for example the the last show of 2018 that had huge impact and was very important, I decided to make a review of that one as well. Look forward to reviews only being about the major matches or shows, or just if I'm taking too long to do my next big video. Last but not least, informative videos. Best example of something like that is my latest video, the Dual Champions of Stardom, where I do a bunch of research and spend a long time finding stats, info, facts about a certain subject and compile it all into one video for you guys so you can learn something new. And I learned something new in the process as well through all the research. Now if you do go back far enough into my channel's history, you will start finding videos that involve video games, let's plays, for the most part I believe. Now that is because when I first started YouTube I originally wanted to be a let's play channel changed my mind and no longer do that. Maybe later, like a long time in the future, but right now, not really what I'm planning on doing, and there was no point in taking them off, so I just kind of left them there. So if you want to watch them, go ahead, but there's not going to be any more content like that for years and years and years and years. By now, you will probably notice the many cuts that are happening in my video. No, your YouTube player is not messing up. Uh, I am messing up. I have a very terrible memory, short-term memory to be exact, so when I am trying to say things that I specifically wrote down for my script, I can only really remember maybe a sentence or two at a time, causing many cuts. Uh, I have been giving myself liberty to freestyle or ad-lib a lot, uh, which you could probably guess, but the problem is, is that even then my brain kind of shuts off sometimes and I just stop in the middle of my sentence and then I won't say anything for like 10 seconds. So even then that usually requires a cut as well. So whether it be me trying to remember my script or me trying to ad lib, either way there's gonna be cuts. I don't see myself ever getting much better at that. So I apologize for that beforehand. I am in the process of learning Japanese uh, for many reasons. The main reason was I always wanted to learn it um, this isn't just something that I'm doing specifically for my channel. It's always been kind of like a, a goal and or dream of mine to learn Japanese, but I feel like killing two birds with one stone, I achieved something that I've always wanted and it's going to help me cover most promotions that do not subtitle or anything like that. Now while I'm just beginning, uh, my Japanese teacher does tell me that I'm progressing pretty fast, so hopefully not too long into the future, I will be seeing results enough for me to actually use it to my advantage and be able to cover things that you guys might not know about because Stardom and or other promotion didn't translate it or anything like that. The best way to keep track of me and update on the channel would be my Twitter account. I don't use it too often, I only kind of go on there to voice my opinion every now and then. Um, if I don't plan on covering a certain event or show, I'll sometimes throw out some like short um, 
opinions on there. Also, if you ever want to ask me a question or just say hey or whatever, that's a great place to do it because I kind of check it regularly all the time because I follow most of my favorite wrestlers on there, so I'm always trying to get some information and I'll see your post to me. Which leads to the comment section of my videos. Now, while I do read every comment, every comment that I am told about by YouTube, I do not respond to every single one. I try to respond to as many as I can, but sometimes there's just nothing for me to say. There's nothing for me to add, or I just don't have anything I want to say. So for comments like that, I always try to at least like them or heart them. So if you write a comment and you want me to respond to it, um, and I don't, most likely I either liked it or hearted it. So I'm sorry, but if you do want to ask me a question specifically, like I said, best place to do that would be my Twitter account, which I link to in every single one of my video descriptions. Uh, I have a very terrible sleeping schedule, and because of that, my uploading schedule is very erratic. I sometimes upload videos at like noon, or sometimes upload them at 1 a.m. So if you want to get notified about every single one of my videos, make sure you click the, the bell icon or whatever, basically letting YouTube know that you want to be notified about my videos every time one is uploaded. With that said, I am never in any of my videos going to ask you to do that again. I'm not going to ask you to like the video and I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, mostly because I find that really annoying when I'm watching YouTube and I don't want that in my videos either. Is that going to hinder my progress of my channel and all that? I don't know. But either way, I don't really want to do that. So you're never going to hear me say that again except for this video. Which also reminds me, I am never... I guess I shouldn't say never. I most likely am never going to have a opener in my videos. To me, a video should start right in the beginning and then I should just be talking about something. There's no reason for you guys to sit through a... 15 to 30 second intro that has no substance whatsoever. So if you guys like the idea of just being able to start a video and reach the content, then that's what I'm going to be doing. If you guys want intros, most likely it's never going to happen. I'm sorry. With all of that said, welcome to my channel and I hope you like my videos. Feel free to comment to any of my videos and I will definitely read them. I will always respect anybody's opinion on anything they want to talk about, so please respect mine and other people's. Uh, I'm not going to delete and, you know, uh, monitor my comment section, but please just be respectful human beings. Don't act like children. Thank you.